Hey guys, for this water jug test, we're gonna try the Lyman Sabo slug, and we'll be using a 24 inch fully rifled barrel. So here's a look at the slug. Right next to it, we have a 177 caliber air gun pellet. This one is just 68 caliber and is obviously considerably heavier. And this slug actually comes from a mold. So you have to cast these yourself. These were actually donated to me by Mike. So thanks to Mike, I'm able to make this video today. And I've loaded these enormous pellets into a Winchester two and three quarter inch, one ounce rifled slug hole on top of 37 grains of long shot. And on my scale, these pellets are weighing in right at 490 grains. So we got about a 500 grain pellet. While the average 177 caliber pellet is about seven grains. We're gonna be shooting from about 15 yards away. Wow, that was way different results than expected. Since that was just a lead slug, I honestly expected it to just break apart and get stopped really quick. I had a feeling it was gonna stop in like jug four or five, but it actually came out the back of jug number seven and missed jug number eight. But don't be worried, I found the slug. At first I was a little disappointed like the slug had gone out the back of jug seven and we didn't catch it, but somehow it's just laying right there. Jug number one is way over here, probably about 10 yards to the left, or actually right of the impact. And jug number two, only like three yards from the impact. Jug number three, one foot from the impact. And then we got a piece of a jug over here to the left, most likely from jug one. So this is what happened to our first jug. My sights are a little off, and I can't find the right Allen wrench to fix them. So I put this little red dot there for my point of aim. And even aiming this far to the right, our impact was still right here, nearly three inches to the left. But we pretty much destroyed this jug, blew the side clean off. There's our exit hole. And there's our entrance on jug two. Got a wicked split here on the handle. This whole jug's just destroyed also. So still massive energy transfer. And there's our exit and jug number three. It kind of looks like our entry hole is a little bit more to the right now. So that slug entered way to the left and it appears to be going to the right as it travels through the jugs. Still quite a bit of damage to number three. A huge split across the jug on both sides. And there's our exit hole. And jug number four is still on our board. And now it looks like our entrance is slightly more to the right again. And this time also slightly down. And obviously not even close to as much damage to jug four. We still got a nice split here on the handle and a split across the side of the jug. And there's our exit hole and jug five. Our entrance is even further down now and more to the right. And there's practically no damage on this jug. Well, there's a little split here underneath the handle, but that's about it. And there's our exit. So hardly any energy transfer at this point. And jug number six, entrance hole. Absolutely no damage anywhere except the entrance and the exit. And there's our exit. And jug number seven. This was the last jug to get hit by that slug. And now our entrance is even further to the right and almost all the way at the bottom of the jug. So our slug entered right around here on our first jug, but by jug number seven, it's entering here. So its path towards the jugs was kind of just like right and downwards the whole time. And obviously no damage to jug seven except our entrance and our little exit on the back there. We completely missed jug number eight, and there appears to be no damage on the board, so it doesn't look like the slug bounced off the board, but somehow that slug is laying right there. And here's that slug, 
after going through seven water jugs, it has absolutely no damage whatsoever. I could reload this again. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I thought this thing was going to explode like a soft lead foster slug. Looks like we might have a tiny bit of damage on the front there. Lead peeling off just barely. It probably lost like one grain if that. So here's our slug before the test. And here's the slug that went through the jugs. Okay, now we can see it did get a little bit of deformation. Not bad though. It looks a little bit shorter than the other one and expanded on the base. But I think I could still reload it since it was only 68 caliber to begin with. The original unfired slug is measuring at 0.679 inches and the fired slug 0.71 inches at the nose. And the base of the slug, 0.674. Base of the unfired slug, 0.661. Our unfired slug weighs 494.5 grains. The fired slug, 495.5. <laughs> so it actually weighs more than the unfired slug, but that that's just because it weighed more to begin with slightly. On the left is the fired slug, and on the right, the unfired. You can tell the unfired one is slightly longer and not quite as squished or deformed looking. The actual length on the unfired one is 0.765 inches and the fired slug 0.732. Alright guys, that's all for the massive 12 gauge pellet or lime and sabo slug water jug test. If you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If there's any other kind of tests you guys want to see just make sure to let me know. And make sure to check out my Facebook page. I post short shooting clips that you guys might enjoy. So check that out if you can. But that's all for now. And as always, thanks for watching.